Mastering Facility Layout Facility layout definitions are conveniently ambiguous. Who is responsible for defining the current facility layout, including identifying the major departments or areas that comprise the operational space, and what are the specific components that make up this layout? In the context of facility layout and operational excellence, defining the current facility layout is a crucial step in optimizing the overall efficiency and effectiveness of the operational space. This responsibility typically falls on the operations management team, which includes the facility manager, production manager, and other relevant stakeholders. To define the current facility layout, the operations management team must identify the major departments or areas that comprise the operational space. These departments or areas typically include 1. Receiving and shipping, this area is responsible for receiving raw materials, storing inventory, and shipping finished goods. 2. Production, this area includes the manufacturing floor, where raw materials are transformed into finished goods. 3. Quality control, this area is responsible for ensuring the quality of the finished goods before they are shipped to customers. 4. Warehousing and Storage This area is used to store raw materials, work in progress, and finished goods. 5. Office and Administrative This area includes the offices, meeting rooms, and other administrative spaces. 6. Employee Facilities This area includes the break rooms, locker rooms, and other facilities for employees. 7. Maintenance and Repair this area is responsible for maintaining and repairing equipment and machinery. To define the current facility layout, the operations management team must identify the specific components that make up this layout. These components include 1. Departments and areas, as mentioned above, the major departments or areas that comprise the operational space. 2. Machines and equipment, the type number, and arrangement of machines and equipment used in each department or area. 3. Material flow, the flow of materials, including raw materials, work in progress, and finished goods, through the facility. 4. Workstations, the arrangement and design of workstations, including ergonomic considerations and worker safety. 5. Storage and inventory, the location, type, and quantity of storage facilities and inventory management systems. 6. Material handling systems, the type and arrangement of material handling systems, including conveyor systems, forklifts, and manual handling systems. 7. Utilities and services, the location and arrangement of utilities, including electrical, water, and gas services. 8. Building architecture and infrastructure, the physical structure and infrastructure of the facility, including doors, windows, walls, and roofing. 9. Safety and security features, the features and systems in place to ensure worker safety and security, including fire suppression systems, emergency exits, and security cameras. 10. IT and communication systems, the information technology and communication systems in place, including computers, networks, and telecommunications systems. By defining the current facility layout and identifying its components, the operations management team can identify areas for improvement, optimize the layout to improve workflow and reduce waste, and improve overall operational excellence.